Welcome back to the channel. We're answering another teacher question. This is somebody who wants to use Google Forms to make a spelling test, but they don't want students to know that the word is spelled wrong and have it underlined in red, and then the student uses spell check. So I show you what I did playing with some spelling words and what it looks like for me on my end and maybe some solutions. I don't know off the top of my head, so I've played with it. Here's what I've come up with. When I go in and make the spelling test, there are a couple of ways to do this. I don't know if the point is spelling the right word or if the point is putting the right word in the sentence or matching it to a picture or if you want to give them choices like this or if it's a constructed response question where they're going to have to type it out. There's several different ways that this could be done. I went with multiple choice because that would be the easiest one to grade, honestly, but you could make it a short answer question. You know, which one of our words meant this and they would spell it out down here. That would also work. But when you do it like this, I'll delete this question. When I make this, mark the correctly spelled word, and I would go into my settings and, and put in the right answers. When I go up here to view it and preview it, I don't see any red underlining anywhere. I'm not sure if that would happen if the word was up here in the question, but it's not happening down here because I don't see that that's tipping me off as a student that that word is spelled wrong. So I can put in my choices, non-stick, decrease, rearrange, however many words I wanted. I can submit it. I can do any of those things. You've got a couple of choices. You could do this in locked mode in Chrome on a Chrome book so that a student can't open another tab to go looking for the correct spelling of the word. I teach high school kids. They're going to have their phone in their other hand. They don't need another tab. They're just going to Google it. So I, I don't use locked mode, but you can if you want to. That's over here in the settings as you set up what you want this to look like. Here in quizzes, make this and then turn on locked mode. They can't open another tab. They have to take this quiz on a Chromebook. They couldn't do it on their phone. They couldn't do it on a home computer. It would have to be on a managed by the district Chromebook. So there's that feature if that helps. There's also some features, because I read about this, in the browser itself that you can go in and turn off spell check. If that's something that you want to do for students as you're training them to know how to spell, because spell check is only as good as spell check is, that is over here in settings. I got I went to these three little dots. I went to settings. Honestly, I searched spell check, and it came up with this. So here's under languages. This is also a place where you could get a student the language that they needed things in. If you've got somebody who's struggling with, with English as the default and they would benefit from something else, there's where that is. It's, the default is basic spell check. You can also use enhanced. You can also just turn that sucker off. Now, if you show students this, they're going to get in and turn it back on. Uh, it might very well be a domain level decision that somebody could make or for that building or that grade level even down to your classroom that they could turn that off. Um, like I said, it's a setting and I believe students have access to it. So once they figure out that that's what you did, they could very well turn it back on. And that's just one of those things I, we're gonna have to deal with. But as far as putting in the words on the spelling test, I think that this would work. If it doesn't, please let me know. I'll come back and eat my words and do something else. When you open this up to view it again, now that it's in locked mode, I, I can't access the quiz, locked mode. I have to be on a Chromebook, and I'm not on a Chromebook. So this would let me know that I need to get on a different device in order to take that quiz. But once I do that, I won't be able to open another tab and go work or get to a dictionary or a thesaurus or any of those kinds of features. So there's a couple of options. See if this works. Put them in locked mode. Turn off within the browser, the spell check, because I don't think it's Google spell checking it. I think it's Chrome spell checking it from what I read about and from other people trying to do the same thing. So I hope one of those solutions puts it together and helps you make that spelling test. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have other questions. I'll make another video.